All right, guys, sorry for the delay. This is the review for, ha <laughs> ha, it's for How to Get Away with Murder, Season 2, Episode 12. It's a trap. Now, you'll understand why by the end of my recap, review, why it's called It's a Trap. All right, how the episode starts off with is actually Wesley's mom and Annalise. Well, I should say Kristoff, as we now know. Sounds like Kristal. But, um, yeah, so he's... Oh, damn, Annalise, why did you do it? Why did you do it? Anyway, or should I say more specifically, Kristoff, why did you do it? Why did you do it? Okay, I'm backpedaling. Backpedaling now. So the episode, again, it starts off with Annalise, and she's talking with Wes's mom. Wes's mom's just like, look, this is what happened. I was there working for a while, cleaning, and the guy was there. You know, he was there. It was kind of odd for him to be late. It was the son, so this is the, uh, the son is the one who is in trouble because he's like, what is it, a hedge fund or something person, and he's being charged with killing his girlfriend. Now, Wes's mom is the only one that can give him an alibi, and so now Annalise has to convince Wes's mom to go and stand on trial so that this innocent man, who we all think is guilty, will be able to uh, walk away from this trial a free man. So, we have Annalise talking to, I guess was left of the Keating Five, and you know Connor is on some other stuff because Connor's on this whole thing of what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I just don't know. I just don't understand. I just don't understand. What are we gonna do? Here's the thing, Connor. Sit down. Sit down. Shut up. Let Annalise go to work. Because you had all this bark. You're like, oh, well. She's doing this, and oh, she's doing that. She's a monster. I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. Annalise didn't kill anyone. The only person, the only people that were involved with killing someone were you guys. More specifically, Wes and Frank. Well, and Bonnie. So Annalise is surrounded by, but then again, the phrase is, watch the company that you keep. And it's like, you attract certain people for a reason. So, hey, all I know is Annalise is like, Relax. I got it covered. Don't worry about it. We have Laura freaking out because Frank just told Laura that he killed... Remember the sorority girl that well, died? Well, that was killed and it was being pinned on Sam? Well, no. It was actually Frank. Frank killed him, but it was because Sam wanted her dead. Because she was pregnant and, of course, wanted to pursue a relationship. Sam couldn't have that. So we need the girl removed. So we use Frank to do it. And so Laura is just like, look, it's not Annalise's fault. I mean, Frank's like, it's not Annalise's fault. And Laurel's just like, of course it is. Shut up. What are you thinking? Dumb, dummy, stupid. So she's trying to call, so he's trying to call her and everyone's trying to call her and Wes, but they're not picking up. They don't have time for it. They're out of the loop as far as, oh, Philip has his video. But um, the plan is, all right, what are we going to do? What the hell are we going to do? How are we going to take care of the situation. And at least it's like, shut up. I got it. Don't worry about it. Then you, you have Laurel still trying to figure out, Lord Jesus. Oh, I need someone right now. So she goes and visits Wes because as we know, Laurel's actually supposed to be keeping an eye on Wes. She got fired from being Bonnie, but she really didn't get fired, fired. Well, at least in her mind. So she goes, checks up on Wes and Wes is like, look, Annalise left this, um, she left this uh, binder and it had this case and it's to deal with my mom. And so I was like, what, did Annalise kill your mom too? It's like, no, i assuming she's trying to say that this guy did or something. We have to go and figure this out. So that's when Laurel's like, you know what? Where do we need to go? We need to go to this place. It's like, I can't afford a, the trip. That's what Wes says. Laurel's like, look. It's on daddy's dime. I'm like, wow, isn't that great? Isn't that great? You have the ability to do so. I'm like, what does your dad do again? I think he's involved in organized crime or something. He has to be because of what she says later on. Now, anyway, so the what's left of the King 5 plus Bonnie 
are freaking out because Philip is giving them this video. He's like, I need a million dollars. I need a million dollars by uh, in 24 hours or else this video of the kids leaving the house are, um, it's going to go out. Now, Annalise's whole case is that, you know what? This isn't a big deal. There's no uh, timestamp. So nothing can be proven as far as when they were at the house. Of course they're going to be at the house. Why wouldn't they be at the house? These are our clients that we were representing at one point. Why wouldn't we be at the house? Come on now. But anyway, uh, what do you call it? We flash back 10 years when Annalise was still pregnant. And when I guess she's slowly grooming Frank to be the be the suit and tie slash killer that I guess she knew he always could be or maybe Frank expected himself to be or maybe Sam wanted him to be not really sure at this point so they're gonna go and they are going to be there for a while as far as dealing with the case with the hedge fund kid so like I already told you uh Laurel and Wes are going to take a trip because they want to dig deeper into the situation, figure out what's really going on. Annalise is like, Frank, look, I need you to figure this out. I need you to handle it. Frank's just like, oh, Lord Jesus, fix it, Jesus. So they go to this library of uh, public records and uh, they're trying to find anything regarding the case that has to pertain to Wes's mom. They can't find anything right now. So it's like, oh, so the case was tried in 2005. Well, all those cases, actually, they're in uh, hard copy. So this is going to take a while. She's just like, look, we have all day. Laurel does not want to go back and deal with what Frank said or with C. Annalise right now. So after that, you have her, you have us back 10 years, and Annalise is trying to prepare for, um, Wes's mom for the court case and so what's his mom really doesn't want to do it she's barely wanting to do it and here's the thing the only reason why she will do it is because Annalise agrees you know what your face won't be in there because here's the thing she doesn't have her green card and as a result they could kick her out of the country and she's not dumb she knows that regardless of what Annalise is saying they could always INS does not play INS does not play they will find a way to kick your ass out. <laughs> so that's what she was afraid of. Now, again, you have Michaela trying to calm down Connor because Connor's on 100 right now. And Elise is like, look, we're going to visit your boyfriend, Caleb. She, she didn't even think twice about that. I'm like, okay, so I guess he is her boyfriend. All right. All right. So he's not wanting to talk to Annalise, but... He ends up doing it anyway because he needs her help. Here's the thing. Annalise goes into crunch time. We need a million dollars. So she asks uh, Caleb, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you out. But first she needs to give me a $250,000 retainer. I'm like, and he was just like done. I'm like, damn. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? So Annalise tells him, you have to go and you have to speak with Catherine. You must tell Catherine that... Now's the time for you to just fess up with what you did. What is Philip's part to play? Do you know where he is? And Catherine basically said, oh, I feel bad for Caleb. Caleb actually seems like a good guy and he just gets his ass kicked left and right. Partially entertaining. And then the other part's just like, woo, 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 woo. Catherine basically goes and says, Philip has given me everything I wanted and ever needed in a brother. And I'm like, Damn. Damn. You vicious. <laughs> you vicious little. <laughs> anyway, so we flash back into. Um, oh, yeah. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, by the way. Uh, flash back into 10 years where Annalise is currently. Uh, the case is going on. Now, the case falls apart. The case falls apart. Why? Because the independent, anonymous, uh, what do you call it? Witness? Yeah, Wes's mom, Witness 93 or, or 94, whatever it was. She didn't show up. She didn't show up. Frank comes into the courtroom just like, I lost her. And Annalise is like, crap, the case is pretty much screwed. And Wes is like, crap, she, shouldn't, she didn't show up. 
And so then they killed her. They were, she was their only lead. So then that's what happened. They killed her as a result. It wasn't suicide. It wasn't suicide. And I'm like, something about this doesn't make sense. It just seems all over the place. Oh yeah, and by the way, his mom, the um, hedge fund dude's mom, is such... I can't believe she had the audacity to say, she was like, look, we've been paying her for years, so she owes us. I'm like, she's been doing her job for years. She don't owe you crap. Come on now. Who has that mentality of, oh, we gave you this? No. Did she or not do, uh, did she or did she not do her job in the way that you thought it needed to be completed? Huh? Huh? Anyway. So afterwards, the father goes and just reels and leaves out. It was like, you know what? Three things. One, you're pregnant. Two, you're a woman. Three, you're black. I thought I could have used all of those things in order to sway the jury. That's why I hired an unknown. That's why I hired someone who, when I told everyone who I'd be hiring, they said, don't do it. Because I thought that I could use you. I thought you could be a great representative. You could, you know, change the quote of, of rich, entitled, spoiled brat, white boy, kills girlfriend to, oh, this black pregnant judge defending this innocent young man. And then he had the audacity to go below the belt and by the way she's pregnant so just think about gut punch and say you know what you you are a disgrace to your people your people he might as well just said you people i expected more from you people and so annalise is just licking her wounds and trying to figure out what the next stages are Again, their actual plan is pretty much to go and wait it out. That's really what their plan is. Their plan is to wait it out and see how it's going to um, how it's going to turn out. Annalise doesn't think that anything's going to really pop off. Now, you have... I saw something was really shifty with Laurel, but they couldn't really find anything. But Wes came to the conclusion that Annalise felt guilty about getting his mom killed. And so that's why he got into the school off of the wait list. That's why he joined the Keaton Five and became part of the Keaton Five, even though it's supposed to be only four people, which is all true. She's been watching out for him this whole time. But again, Wes, there's more to the story. There is more to the story. And you know, Michaela goes and consoles her boyfriend and they make out. Ugh, Bonnie, Bonnie's trying to go and be Bonnie again, be the Bonnie that she knows Annalise needs. And so she cuts ties with Asher. And I'm like, oh, poor Asher. Can we get Asher to win once in this show? Why can't we let Asher win once? Is that going to ever happen? Nate visits Annalise. And Annalise is over it because she doesn't feel like Nate's forgiven her. So she's trying to figure out, what the hell are you doing? If you don't like me, if you hate me, just leave. But you cannot do this to me anymore. You can't just say, okay, one minute we're cool, the next minute you don't say two words. That's not fair. That's not fair. So after that, you have, uh, what's his name, Oliver. He's talking with Connor, and Connor's trying to figure out his next. See, I knew Connor was a little wimp. I knew Connor was a wimp. Connor barks, 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 barks. That's all he does. He barks, 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 barks. But at the end of the day, Connor ain't ish. We need to replace Connor with, oh, uh, Connor with, what's his boyfriend's name? Oliver. Connor with Oliver. There we go. That's who I feel like should have been a part of the Keen Five. Because at least he has more mental capacity. See, I was trying to figure out why the hell Laurel was, uh, seem to be handling all of this extremely well. It's because, like I said, her father's involved with organized crime. So, Laurel and Wes are in the car together, and they're both kind of licking their wounds, and you get this weird sexual tension moment, and then they actually make out, and then again, Wes is like, oh yeah, let me go 
and get that sandwich or go wait for that sandwich. She was like, yeah, it's probably a good idea. I was like, Laurel, Laurel, Laurel is a hot in the pants type of chick. And remember, she went from Frank to that college guy to Frank again. And now she's going to rebound with Wes, at least for the night. <sighs> I can't do this. I can't do this. So Wes's mom uh, gets confronted by Annalise and Annalise was trying to get him to go and uh, unveil more information. No, oh, to say, you need to come back and testify. She said, no, that's not going to happen. So then she yells at Wes because Wes was like, what's going on? He's like, go to your room. He's like, wait. He was like, go to your room. It was just like, ooh, she going to kick your ass. Go to, the, go to your room. Go to your room. Ooh, excuse me. So after that, you have... <laughs> ooh. Wes realizes what's going on. No, actually, no, he doesn't. Laurel realizes what's going on. And Laurel goes, and as I said, she sneaks some paper off of the table. She puts in her purse. And then she's like, yeah, so I think it's time to go. I think it's time to go. Because they're looking at the depiction of what happened to Wes's mom. Because it's supposed to be a suicide, even though Wes thinks that someone killed his mom. Yeah, so th th going on with that... Annalise and, what's his name, Nate, they had sex and Annalise is like, all right, Nate, you can come back into the fold. What is your advice about this video? He's like, wait it out. They're punks. They won't do anything. So that's what they do. They wait it out and nothing happens. Asher does his happy dance until 30 seconds later. Um, there's a video now of Nate and Annalise. And it's like, oh crap, Philip is like pretty much right outside and so they're bugging like crap he is watching them along with that laurel pops up and it's like hey, at least i need to speak with you and they were like do you not know what's going on philip has a tape on us we could be screwed she's like i don't care and at least in your office now let's go i was ready for you at the dough come on <laughs> and so frank was just like okay so then at least like looking at her like what the hell is wrong with you until she realizes that, she's like, look, why didn't you tell me I was with a murderer? Wes is a serial killer. He is a serial killer. And Annalise is sticking up for him, but he is a serial killer. And he tried to kill Annalise. He killed Sam. And apparently, he killed his own mother. That's what we find out. Because there were documents essentially stating that it looked like... Uh, Wes was hovering over his mom with a knife. So he stabbed his own mom with a knife and Annalise covered it up. That's what we're going with as of now. The only other thing is that Annalise uh, did it herself. It doesn't make any sense. Annalise isn't a killer, but Wes is. He's proved it multiple times at this point. I mean, Wes's character has gotten interesting for all the wrong reasons. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the uh, below and come back next week.